John Council, one of our founders, left a promising career as a businessman to serve overseas and sustained a spinal cord injury from a sniper's bullet as he led his platoon onto the beach at Dieppe. On his return to Canada, he was awarded the Military Cross for Bravery in Action and the Order of the British Empire. Through persistent efforts, John made a major contribution to the quality of life of people with spinal cord injuries. He provided leadership for the founding of our organization to give Canadians with paraplegia and quadriplegia a united voice and a network of support. He rehabilitated himself and lobbied the Department of Veteran Affairs to provide essential aids for independence for all veterans with spinal cord injuries. He lobbied for the establishment of rehabilitation centers and started Lindhurst Lodge, a community-based rehab center run by our organization in collaboration with medical leaders in spinal cord injury and the newly established Department of Veteran Affairs. He said, it is planned in the future to have all people with paraplegia in Canada become members if they so desire. And in this way, we'll be able to help one another become self-reliant and useful members in Canada's future. One of John's key contributions was to import the first folding, self-propelled wheelchair from Everest and Jennings in the U.S. to Canada and convince the federal government to issue these new chairs to all war casualties with paraplegia. This simple act created a revolution in the area of mobility and something council regarded as the initial road to rehabilitation. This was a huge step to providing people with a light maneuverable chair that gave them independence for mobility. John Council remained in a leadership role within the organization for his entire life. For his work advancing rehabilitation, in 1967 he was made a member of the Order of Canada and in 1972 an officer of the Order of Canada. John died in 1976.